Hello everyone. Today, we will study about MAPE Arts 6. This is quarter number 3 using the learner's packet for LEAP. Lesson 3, Week 3, Statement Design. It is fascinating to check out stores and boutiques today that sell interesting t-shirts of different designs. Different stores carry various designs. There are cartoon designs taken from comic books or cartoon programs. These are immensely popular both among the youth and old, especially to those who follow certain cartoon shows or comics. There are also outlets that customize t-shirts for people. Have you ever thought of having your own customized shirt? Learning task number one. Look at the two customized t-shirts below. Answer the given questions and write it in your notebook. Letter A. Which design would you wear? B. Did you find them fashionable to wear? Why? Answer learning task number one on your own. Learning task number two. Read and understand. Subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, like, and write your comment below. In the past several years, statement t-shirts have been trend especially among teenagers. Cotton t-shirts with slogans or single catchwords are worn with jeans, skirts, or shorts. They are not just about being fashionable or following a trend merely used to promote a cause, an event, a product, or even just to show unity. A statement shirt can also express one's personal belief, passion, or interest. Creating unique, inspiring, and interesting designs can be a challenge. Originality is important. The design should also be memorable. People also like to buy shirts with meaningful and smart messages. Learning task number three. Think of a concept that you want to show on your t-shirt. It can be an advocacy, campaign, or inspiring message. On a one-half band paper, create your original statement design. This can be done through print or handwriting. Example, I love me, I love you. Learning task number four. My proposed statement t-shirt design. Materials needed. Old folder. Prepare design in a one-half bond paper, knife or cutter, marker tape, watercolor or poster paint, paintbrush, and adhesive tape. Steps to follow. Number one. Get your printed or hand-drawing design placed on a one-half bond paper. Use a sharp cutting knife or cutter and cut out the areas where you plan to apply the paint. Remember, as you move around your paper, turn the paper, not your hand. Also, ask of any members of the family using sharp cutting knife. Number two, look for a short folder, any color in your home. Choose a style of t-shirt given below. You can illustrate or look for any t-shirt template, Google images, and print it out. Number three, cut out your t-shirt and make sure it is big enough for your prepared design. Number four, put your prepared design above the t-shirt folder. Tape down your design on all four edges. Make sure it is fixed and not moving. Number five, 
apply your preferred color for your design. Work your way from the outside edge to the middle. Number six, let it dry for a while, then carefully lift your design. You may set the paint if needed. Assessment. Learning task number five. Use the rubric below to evaluate your work. You may ask the assistance of any of the two members of the family or friends for your score. Let them sign their given score to your artwork. Five very good, four good, three satisfactory, two below satisfactory, and one poor. Here are the indicators. Number one, the proposed t-shirt is attractively designed and delivered an inspiring message. Number two, the message of the proposed t-shirt is appealing. Number three, the printing of the t-shirt were well executed with minimal errors and wastage. Number four, all instructions are followed. Reflection. Write your personal insights about the lesson in your notebook using the prompts below. I understand that blank. I realize that blank. And I need to learn more about Blank. Great job everyone. Thank you for watching.